Samsung has been involved in 5G for years. We started talking to the FCC about millimeter spectrum back in, at the end of 2009. If you look back, 3G, 2G, those were designed by operators and people just sitting on t in, t in rooms, in some ways you can say, and thinking about the future. But with 4G, it's been different. 5G has now become much more dynamic. It's being driven by what the cust our customer needs, what our operators need, and then what we have in technology. Um, recently, for example, the announcements by operators about using 5G, not for mobile first, but for fixed wireless access first, is a good example of that sort of use case. We did a demo in uh, 2013 at two kilometers away at 1.2 gigabits per second. In 2014, we did the first mobility where we have a maximum throughput of 7.2 gigabits per second and ultimately an average while driving 100 kilometers an hour at 1.2. And in 2015, we really did our first mobility handovers in, in Seoul, Korea. And we handed off a mobile site in between three base stations set up in, uh, in our campus. And in 2016, we've taken our first step of utilizing 5G in the first real world environment on the Verizon Baskin Ridge campus. What that encompassed was setting up a, uh, a prototype base station uh, as well as a kind of a consumer device. We had two test scenarios, one in a mobile van uh, where we were showing a 4K UHD uh, streamed video uh, and we were getting above one gigabit per second throughput as well as an uninterrupted uh, video while in the moving van. And uh, equally as exciting and process in what we think is potentially the first use case of 5G is in-building penetration in a fixed wireless environment where we're, uh, where we're demonstrating a 5G signal that's being transmitted from the outdoors indoors to a device, potentially a set-top box. So this could be for um, maybe your cable providers or content providers in home providing uh, both entertainment services, television, uh, as well as indoor Wi-Fi or indoor broadband um, for consumers. And I think those are the, that's going to be the, the first potential use case for 5G before the mobile standards are developed. By 2017, you know, where our goal is really to go and get ready to get it commercialized. My prototypes this year have been still more prototype lab devices in that they're fairly big and bulky. Um, what we said is the mobile device is actually a van right now moving around. Um, but by next year, we want to start having visibility into much smaller form factors and also some maybe pre-standard, but also working with others in the vendor and operator community like Verizon to be much more sort of at least a semi-standard um, product that multiple vendors and operators can interoperate with.